Hello, welcome to another edition of Build a Drone Project. Recently we documented our do pilot for drone mission. We use the 3D robotics Arduino pilot. But for this video we decided to use Arduino flyer so that we could cover soldering as well as connecting the RC system. We will be connecting the receivers as well as the motors. So let's take a look at Arduino flyer by RC timer. This is a 2.5. Today we're just going to be soldering the inputs on the left and the outputs on the right. The rest of the header pins we do not really have to use them so that should reduce the weight. Let's take a look at the top. A very sleek design all in one. Just to give you a comparison, this is the 3 drs Arduino Pilot. Pre-sorted. This is everything that came with Arduino Flyer, including the choice of side header pins as well as the top pins. We had completed soldering the outputs, so we're going to show you the inputs. For this demo, we're going to be using the top pins. You can buy a case from 3D Robotics, which will cover the pressure sensor. We happen to have some flux, which is a flowing purifying agent, which you don't really have to use. Um, but since we have it, we're going to apply some to it. Shaky, shaky. Shaky. Yeah, yeah. Shaky. My son is just trying to be helpful. Looks simple, right? To begin the installation, you go to the DIYdrones.com website and the first thing you want to do is to download the mission planner and configure your aircraft. You want to pay attention to the installation and write down the COM port that is assigned to your computer. Uh, for mine, it's COM port 5 
and then you're gonna be setting the baud rate at 115200 you can connect your USB port to APM and then to your computer to test it there you can see COM port 5 has been assigned to APM congratulations your APM is alive Again, we go back to the quick start guide and this time we will connect the RC system by going to APM 2.5 board. The website is updated periodically so as long as you keep coming back to the quick start guide you should be fine. We're going to look at the outputs where we connect four ESCs to a quadcopter. As you could see, the numbers have been labeled for the different positions of the motors. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 in that arrangement. So, make sure you connect accordingly to from the right to the left. Pay close attention to the pins for the negative, positive, and signal. You don't want to get those pins mixed up. You can plug in all three wires for the motors or you could just have one positive wire. The same thing applies to receiver. The ground negative is always on the outside. You only need one positive wire to supply the power to the receiver. This diagram shows you the positions of the channels with number one aileron, elevator, throttle, number three and rudder or yaw number 4 and auxiliary 1 number 5 channel 5 will be used for setting up your flight modes you then match your channels to the receiver whichever type of receiver you may have just to recap the inputs from the receiver and the outputs to the motors JP1 will not be installed because you'll be using the power module now we connect the GPS we will be using the old star GPS port Connecting the 3DR GPS, somehow the red is the ground wire provided by 3DR. Okay, we're back to the quick start guide. We select a copter and first time setup. But before we go any further, we don't want to forget this warning message. It says here, remove propellers during ESC calibration, which we will be doing in part 2 of this lesson. So let's remove the propellers. Let's take a look. Remove propellers. Yes, uh, infant socks do come in useful later on. Uh, socks basically keeps the metal particles from getting onto the motors. Well, we hope you enjoy this lesson and we hope to see you on the next one. Have a good one. I like it.